great weather, great roads. So good evening guys, welcome to Monodale's channel and today I am out in the night and I am planning to do a short ride, I am planning to go to Moto Seal Gurgaon and it's just after the thunderstorm in Delhi and the weather has cooled down considerably to the extent that I am wearing a windsheeter right now. The extent of the dust storm was so much that in our apartment there were multiple trees that fell and I believe that is the case in Delhi and Gurgaon area also. It's a total blackout, there are no street lights that are on, typical Indian after effects of a dust storm or a strong rains. I'm not very sure what sort of justice the SJ cam is doing right now. I'm just depending on the street lights for any sort of lighting to give a reasonable footage for you guys. The weather is amazing and it urges you to ride your motorcycle. Having a heavy motorcycle has its disadvantages 90% of the time but the remaining 10% are conditions like these. I am on the Noida Greater Noida Expressway and there are heavy crosswinds. Heavy crosswinds I mean the, the normal light 160-170 kg motorcycle would be swaying like anything due to these crosswinds but the Mercedes being in the range of 210 kgs and loaded with a full tank coming close to 230 it is maintaining a decent straight line and is relatively unaffected by the crosswinds at this point of time I really pity these guys who are driving their cars with closed glasses the effect of air conditioning really don't think this is the weather to enjoy air conditioning right now So I am at the DND Highway that connects Noida to South Delhi and this place looks a little cleaner than the Greater Noida Noida Expressway. It is devoid of that litter that was flying all over and in front of my face a few minutes back. Before starting from the house, me and my wife were simply discussing if it was feasible to get out of home in these strong winds. With the news of trees falling everywhere and debris flying off. But as soon as the winds subsided a little bit, I stepped down, stepped down from my house and observed that it was not that bad. 
and as of now i am really enjoying So here we are in TLM Phase 3 Cyber City I've come here many times I used to work here some time back But it's been a long time after about I think easily after four or five years and really enjoying the improvement in roads here it was like choco block traffic when I was working here some time back but things have really improved for the better Finally feels Gurgaon is living up to its name after seeing these roads. I'm not trying to highball things right now but these roads sort of are reminding me of Dubai maybe it's a fact that I have been I'm seeing these roads for the first time but really it's a stark improvement in terms of the infrastructure and the quality of roads is just amazing so enjoyable to ride place to come and have dinner this place just looks the part amazing for somebody who loves motorcycles you have these bags you have these riding pants riding jackets helmets whatever you want from a motorcycling perspective most of the things I can see here on first sight so here are all the jackets that are available and I mean there are lots of them I'm not sure if you can see them the area in front of me there is a whole wardrobe sort of a section which has all the jackets that one would ever need then there is a Shad 37 SS 37 top box that I already have on, on my verses this is in the blue color so there is a lot of Shad collection available here and definitely all the hard and soft luggage options are available as well I need to visit this place in the morning man I'm, I'm late today and I missed out on having a thorough walkover of the store these are all the jeans that have protective padding inside 
and they look quite beautiful but the prices are too much man these are anything that you touch here is upwards of 10000 while there are options available in the 5000 plus range as well so expensive stuff but they exude a lot of quality It was a great experience visiting uh, Moto Zeal Gurgaon. Uh, amazing to dine out amongst all the biking related stuff, seeing great motorcycles like these and having a look at all the beautiful accessories available here. The stuff was very expensive to say the least. One of the first uh, motorcycling dining experience that I have had and my home is about 77 kilometers. It will take about 1 hour 25 minutes for me to reach Greater Noida. So it's a fair drive and let's start. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's ride video. If you liked what you saw, please don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to moto tales channel for more videos coming up shortly for now bye bye